Hey everyone, this video is to help you with factorials. So what a factorial is, is it's the product of an integer and all the integers below it. Remember, product means to multiply, and then integers are just the numbers. So our general form is n, and then the exclamation point means factorial. So what you would do for that is you would do n times one integer below that would be n minus 1 times an integer below that would be n minus 2 times n minus 3 times and then you continue that pattern basically until you get down to n minus n plus 1 this essentially this n minus n plus 1 is just 1. So you multiply until you get down to 1. So for example, if we have 4 factorial, that would be 4. 1 less than 4 is 3. 1 less than 3 is 2. 1 less than 2 is 1. We stop at 1 because if you were to continue the pattern and go down to 0, you would get 0 as an answer every time because 0 times anything is 0. We do have a special case, which is 0 factorial which is actually just one every single time. So a couple general um, tips and steps that we do is we are going to write out the factorials every single time. We are going to eliminate the common multiples. And we also want to make sure, you hear me say this a lot, we simplify early and often. If you simplify at the beginning, you're going to work with smaller numbers and it's going to be less work in the end. So for this first example, I have 8 factorial over 5 factorial. So I'm going to expand these. 8 times 7. Expand is another way of saying just write them out. Etc. Et over 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you can go through and you can cross these out individually because everything's being multiplied here. Because multiplication and division go together, you are able to just cross out common factors. So I can do 5 with 5, 4 with 4, or I can really just cross out basically 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 from the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, you're left with 8 times 7 times 6. Technically, that's over 1. It's not necessary to write this over 1 because if you have 1 in the denominator, it doesn't change the value. So you would just multiply these together and get 336. For the second example, I'm going to expand this. in both numerator and denominator. Now, it is totally up to you which factorial you want to completely eliminate, whether you want to do 7 through 1 or 5 through 1. I would always go with doing the, the bigger one because it's going to be less work in the end. So I'm going to eliminate 7 times 6 times 5, etc., all the way through 1. And I'm going to rewrite it. So in the numerator, I have 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 over 5 times 4 times 2 times 2 times 1. And now you can do a couple of different things. So what I like to do is I like to, like I said, Simplify it early and often. For example, in your denominator, you have 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So the 5 and the 2 will cancel with the 10. You also have 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So the 12 totally cancels. 
all that you're left with because everything besides the one has been simplified from the denominator is 11 times 9 times 8. So if you simplify at the beginning, you're going to save yourself a lot of time and a lot of trouble. So when you multiply these together, you are going to get 792. Now for the next one, the thing that makes this problem a little bit more challenging is that you have a plus. So we're going to try to factor out something that we can. What you'll notice here is I have a 19 factorial and I have a 21 factorial. I'm going to leave the 19 factorial alone. And I'm going to expand the 21 factorial as 21 times 20 times 19 factorial. The reason why I can do this is because this 19 factorial is 19 times 18 times 17 all the way through 1 times 20 times 21 brings us back to the 21 factorial. And in my denominator, I'm also going to expand this as 20 times 19 factorial. The reason why we do this is because when you have multiple terms, remember terms are separated by addition and subtraction, you want to try to factor out a something that they both share. We call that a GCF, a greatest common factor. So this one highlighted in blue, this is my first term, 19 factorial. My second term highlighted in green is 21 times 20 times 19 factorial. The thing that they both share in common is the 19 factorial. So I take it out in front. When I take it out from what's highlighted in blue, I'm left with one. And when I take it out from what's highlighted in green, I'm left with 21 times 20. This is all over still. 20 times 19 factorial. And this is helpful to us because now what we're able to do is to eliminate the 19 factorials to get 1 plus 21 times 20 divided by 20. And then from here, I can go ahead and simplify. So in the numerator, that's 1 plus 21 times 20 is going to give us 420 divided by 20. Or 421 divided by 20, which we can't simplify, so we use that as our final answer. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and expand this, or I'm more importantly, I'm going to expand only the numerator to start. So expanding this n plus 2 factorial, that's going to be n plus 2 times, remember you want to go down by 1, so n plus 2 minus 1, and then I'm going to rewrite these each underneath. n plus 2 times n plus 2 minus 1 would just be n plus 1 times n plus 2 minus 2, which would just be n times n plus 2 minus 3, which is n minus 1, which now you'll notice is exactly what you have in the denominator. So that's going to be all over n minus 1 factorial. I'm able to eliminate the n minus 1 factorials. Final answer that you are left with is n plus 2 times n minus 1 